Hi guys, it's Stephanie here again. It's August, uh, or it was August 28th, and I had a experience <laughs> that I'm going to share with you. So I went to Walmart, and I bought a lot of groceries. I was checking out in the self-check lane with the conveyor belt. I was almost done, and I had two produce items that I had to look up. And when I hit the look up button, the screen froze and it wouldn't do anything. So I called this uh, attendant over and they came to help, but it would not work for them either, even though they put in their code and everything. So he got more help and they could not get it to work either so that they had to reset the machine. And I had to put all of my bagged groceries back in my cart and go wait in another lane. I went to where there was a cashiered checkout, but I was wait. I had to wait there. Um, I was gonna have to wait there a really long time. So I decided to go to another self-check lane. Um, as soon as I started loading my groceries back onto the conveyor belt, my mask snapped and fell right off my face. <laughs> and I began. Then I began checking out again. A woman came and asked me if I would like some help, and she helped me bag my groceries as I checked out. Another woman came over and said, I'm confused. All of your groceries are already in bags. Why are you checking out again? And I explained to her the situation. And she was surprised by the news. <laughs> um, I finished checking out with the this woman's help, and I left. Um, during the drive home, I saw four runners, two by two. Then I went on and got stopped by a train, which was stopped on the tracks. Normally I would take another route at this point, but someone had pulled over to the alternate route and it was a truck with a trailer and they were blocking the whole way. Um, and they sat there the whole time. So finally a couple cars moved ahead. Um, they. I guess they decided that the train was never going to move, so they finally moved. <laughs> um, it was about a seven minute wait before I was able to do anything. Then I was able to take the alternate route and a police officer was directing traffic on the new route. And then when I finally was almost home, I accidentally tapped my um, turn signal and it began to, it was doing the click, 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 and I tried to take it off of it and so it flipped to the other side and then I tried to take it off again and it flipped to the other side but it would not go out of turn signal I just kept doing it and so <laughs> then finally it just shut off when I just hit it one more time and it shut off and I just continued going straight like I intended in the first place um, and then I finally turned onto my street home and before um, like in between Walmart and like seeing the four runners, I was praying to God and I was kind of crying. I was kind of like, I felt very sad, very sad. I don't know why I was just feeling very sad. And I asked the Lord as I was praying and reflecting on everything that happened, I said, what are you saying to me and all of this right now? And so this is what he told me. And I thought this was pretty cool. First check out. You are going to feel ready to check out, but the time is not yet. Reset. The produce is not weighed. Harvest um, is not complete. We'll feel delayed, but the checkout is soon after and the harvest will be complete. Woman helper. I will send help when things seem unsure. Woman with questions. People will see the work you are doing and you will witness and testify to them. Masks snapped. Masks will be rendered useless. <laughs> I don't know how good they are anyway, but. <laughs> uh, forerunners. Um, a forerunner is one that goes before and announces the coming of another. Um, it's anything that serves as a sign. It's a harbinger, uh, proclaims or announces the come of a notable event. <laughs> so I saw four runners, and also I felt that the Lord said, keep running the race set before you. Things will seem delayed. Okay, so let's keep running the race set before you, but then the train. And it says, things will seem delayed, inconvenience, but wait for me to move you. 
And then a police officer was directing traffic and um, he said, I will direct your path. And then the turn signals were going crazy. And it says, you will want to turn to the right or to the left, but stay on the straight and narrow. And it said, he said, I will take you home. So that is what he told me after all that encounter and then, or all that experience I had. And, and, and so I got a cool encounter with the Lord. Then John 10, 27 said, it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they know, follow me. So it's just saying, my sheep hear my voice or my sheep know my voice. We know his voice. And he speaks to us, and um, it's important to look for him or ask him to, to speak to you. He will do it. Because um, I wasn't looking for him necessarily in those encounters. I was just going about my business. But then I finally was like, I'm just going to ask the Lord about this because <laughs> it was kind of a crazy day. Anyway, so I did want to say if there's anyone watching these videos that I'm posting and they are not saved, um, have not given their life to the Lord, I'm asking you to please watch the video I posted about salvation um, and um, gain some knowledge about that and think about it. And hopefully I pray that you will receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Savior and let me know about it. Um, and then also just, there will be lots of videos being posted here, re here soon, uh, because the Lord asked me to do something and there's another video explaining that. So, um, I hope and pray you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Talk to you later.